Washington, Washington uh, Examiner senior political analyst Michael Barone joins me along with Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. And Matt, uh, you know, we don't know exactly who these folks are. We heard Black Lives Matter here in New York. Uh, you know, there's been talk of a, a lot of a millennials in the streets and maybe former Bernie folks. Um, but, you know, the reality is uh, we're, we're, we're moving into what could be a very different time and hopefully a very prosperous time for the United States of America, in that there's an opportunity right now with the Republicans to get stuff done in a way that we haven't right. seen in eight years. Yeah, I tell you, these eight years, if you look at every statistic except the unemployment rate, every other statistic uh, is just bad news for so many Americans. The poverty statistics and rates have uh, gone through the roof. We have the lowest uh, labor participation rate since Jimmy Carter was president. Uh, Donald Trump, you know, went to these uh, communities and went to the cities and said, hey, what do you have to lose? Look what's happening all around you. And I think actually the, the great irony of the protests today, Trish, are that it's these very Trump policies that are going to give a lot of people hope and a lot of economic hope. Uh, they just they need to wait a little bit for the medicine to kick in. You know, it, it, you know that that very well could be the truth. We hope it is the truth. In that lower taxes, less regulation, uh, freeing up the economy enables people in these challenged areas to get back to work. And Michael, fundamentally, this is what this election was about. Well, uh, well, it certainly was uh, one of the big factors, and one working in Donald Trump's favor was. Uh, the economy. The exit poll showed, I think, about half the voters said they picked the economy out of a list of five issues as the one that was most important to them. Uh, and uh, they tended to prefer by a narrow margin Donald Trump on the economy. Of course, it was a narrow margin in the election entirely with Hillary Clinton uh, getting a plurality uh, of the popular vote. I don't like I keep hearing people say majority. Majority means 50 percent. She didn't get 50 percent. She got a plurality. Uh, uh, and was Donald of course, Trump Donald Trump got a plurality of electoral yeah. votes, which, of course, both campaigns concentrated on winning electoral votes because that's how you get elected president under the Constitution yeah, of the United yeah, people, States. People have asked, was Donald Trump that good or was she just that bad? Um, Michael, you know, I, I think that to a certain extent, Americans, they want to they want to vote for someone. And for well, something, year, they don't want to vote against something. I mean, it, it, it seemed as though well, her message all poll, along was just, "I'm the anti-Trump," and that wasn't enough. Well, the uh, that wasn't enough to bring voters enough voters over to Hillary Clinton's side for her to win. Uh, if you look at people who voted for Hillary Clinton, it was uh, a lower percentage of them than of Trump voters said that uh, they didn't. They were not voting in opposition. They were voting, you know, they were stronger okay. together with her. Guys, but uh, I'm gonna she didn't in. win enough votes yeah, to win. She, she didn't. She sure didn't. Uh, so I guess these folks will have to get used to it. We're going to take a quick break. I'll be right back.